The post breakup life is just not it. You don't really know what to do after a breakup. The moment it happens, time just decides to stop in literally the worst way possible. Your music that was playing in the background suddenly becomes indistinguishable. You begin to stare off into space, trying to process what just happened. You end up sitting there looking like a fucking idiot. And then the next day, you wake up in bed, and even though you don't feel different, you have this like lingering feeling that something is off. It feels like your entire world has shifted like a centimeter to the left. Not enough for you to really notice anything, but it's like if you got up in the morning and you saw your dresser, you would look at it and you just kind of be like, hmm. Eventually, you will get up, get dressed, and begin to start your day because your ex didn't have the courtesy to break up with you on a weekend and go to work or school, whatever the fuck it is you're supposed to do. And as you're on your way to do whatever it is you gotta do that day, it's all just gonna hit like a fucking truck full of shit. Suddenly, you're crying on your commute, your sweater's covered in snot and shit, and you're trying to keep it together because you know, like, it's kind of embarrassing. But you don't really care. And uh, that's just day one. The days turn into weeks, the weeks turn into months, and now six months have gone by and you're starting to think, I'm doing better. No, you're not. You think you're doing better, you're not actually doing better. See, at this point, you don't really think about your ex anymore. You've maybe been on a couple of dates here and there and you're probably doing pretty well career-wise. But then it happens. A reminder. Could be big, could be small. Usually it's a pretty tiny thing that normally wouldn't affect you. Maybe it's a random song on your Spotify you forgot that was in your library. Or maybe it's an old photo that you accidentally stumbled across that you thought you had deleted. You ever see this photo of a Cheeto substituting what should be a bolt in a door lock? That reminder is basically this Cheeto trying really damn hard to keep that door closed. Now that first wave of emotions that hit you like a truck is a bit more like a Prius. This next wave is more like the Japanese bullet train. Quiet as fuck, significantly more deadly. This is nothing like the first wave though. This shit hits different. Your head just becomes clouded with negative thoughts like an emotionally draining poison. It'll start off innocently like, oh man, I wonder what she's doing these days. I hope she's doing all right. And then it progressively gets worse. I wonder if she's seeing anybody. I wonder if she regrets what happened. And then this is where it gets really bad. Some way, somehow, these thoughts just twist and turn and evolve to the point where it just becomes one of the worst feelings you can feel for an ex. I like to call this the desperate little bitch phase. You start asking really fucked up questions like, am I ever gonna find anybody better than her? What if she was the one and I'm just fucking shit up right now by not fighting harder for her? Keep in mind, none of these questions do you any good. It's just your shitty head providing shitty thoughts that just drag your feet down like it's fucking molasses. Quite honestly, this is the worst phase because there's literally nothing you can fucking do about it except give it more time because the only way you are ever going to truly get over them is when you can make peace with the fact that they're going to end up with somebody else not just anybody else by the way your ex is going to get together with somebody who's going to be a significantly better fit for them than you ever could be but it's okay so will you Believe it or not, you will eventually find somebody who is a significantly better fit for you than your ex ever could be. Or not. You could totally fucking give up and just adopt a shitload of pets, that's okay too. But keep in mind that even though things fall apart, everything heals over time. Have a good night.